Strawberry Land, where things are going better all the time. Strawberry Land is the home of custard, Ew. cupcake, and me, Strawberry Shortcake. It's a very, very fine place to live. That is if you like berries, more berries, and even more berries. The strawberries here can grow so big that you need a wheelbarrow to carry just one. When it rains, you better watch out. You could get caught in a berry downpour. Yum! When it snows, I've even seen it snow berry-shaped flakes. And when the wind blows, it makes berry dunes and berry mountains. Perfect for berry boarding. <laughs> yeah. You may be very happy, Strawberry, but what about me? You have strawberries, blueberries, and even boysenberries. How about some tuna berries? Silly custard, berries don't taste like tuna. Exactly my point. Strawberry Land isn't a very good place for a cat. The problem with my finicky cat, Custard, is she always thinks the glass is half empty. And I think it's half full. That means I like to look on the bright side, but Custard has the habit of expecting the worst. Hmm. Uh. Now it's all empty. Now, my very, very dear pets, breakfast time! Here you go, Custard. Hmm. Oh, Pupcake. Ew. One day, you and Custard will learn to cooperate. And one day, you will learn that my favorite breakfast food is tuna. Little sister Apple Dumpling. Apple for short. <laughs> Today's her birthday. She's one. Look, a wish berry. That means I can make a wish. <gasps> <laughs> I just wished I could have a party for Apple Dumpling. Isn't she very, very cute? <laughs> She'd be a lot cuter if she had whiskers and a tail. Hmm. This is our home, where we grow better all the time. <laughs> er, most of the time. My very, very favorite room is the kitchen. It's the perfect room for Apple's party. The first thing we need for our party is a list. Goo goo. A list? 
we'll need one cookies, cookies, two fruit, three juice, fruit juice, ooh, four party hats. Five birthday cake. Okay. Ew. I have a very, very strong feeling you're going to love birthday cake. Cake! We'll have to travel to some very, very interesting lands to find everything we need. I suggest we do our best. Yeah! To avoid lands with drooling folks with wet noses and annoying yelps. Yeah. Does your map have a land with folks who meow and purr? Oh, Custard, we'll have a much better time if we visit all kinds of people. No way. We probably won't like them if they're too different from us. And they probably won't like us. Differences are what make us interesting and fun. What a very, very boring place the world would be if we were all the same. But just think how delightful it would be if everyone was furry and had sandpaper tongues. <laughs> Kitty. Looks like the berry trail will lead us to our party supplies. Hmm. Which way should we go? May I suggest somewhere with lots of kitties? Cookie Corner sounds like it might have a lot of cookies. And that's the number one item on our list. <sighs> Sometimes it's not so very easy being a pet owner. Here we are, Cookie Corners. Yummy! You're right, Apple. This has to be the best smelling place in the whole world. That is the aroma of at least a million cookies baking. We should have a very easy time finding cookies for your birthday party. How come there aren't any tuna cookies? What's that noise? You are pretty cute. I mean, hi, I'm Ginger Snap. Hi, I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is my sister, Apple Dumplin', and my cat, Custard. And well, you've met Pupcake. I'm sorry we had to meet this way. <laughs> Don't worry about it. At least we met. Come on, let me give you a tour of my bakery. Are you sure? Of course, I always like to have guests. Ooh, I smell a 
cookie baking. Tell me what kind are we making? Looky, looky, what a cookie, 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 oh! Sugar cookies, peanut butter, chocolate chip, here comes another. Looky, looky, what a cookie, 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 oh! Cookie, looky, yummy, and she's delicious, semi time, she's flavorific, scrummy, scrum, she's cookie, cookie, oh! Brilliant. Please don't mind my grumpy cat. Under all that fur beats a very big heart. Oh no, Cupcake! Calm down! to learn to control yourself. And I almost made a new friend. Your new friend may have a lot of dough, but I don't trust her. That machine of hers is too loud and much too different. Wait a minute, don't go. They don't call it the amazing cookie machine for nothing. I'll just set it on replace room cookies mode. And voila! Ooh, somehow we ended up with a tuna macaroon. I don't suppose you want it. A tuna cookie? Now that's really different. Mm -hmm. Different, but delicious. Now the birthday girl gets to be the taste tester. Tasty. <laughs> Cupcake, no more biscuits. No. Okay, one wagon load of yummy warm cookies to go and an extra batch for good luck. Are you sure? It's my pleasure. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I was wishing for a friend. Me too. I'm so glad to have a new friend, especially one that makes such delicious cookies. I think I'll try one of these. After lunch. You're right. Thank you very, very much for all the cookies. Now if only we can find an amazing juice machine.
friendship's very deep. Friendship grows like a flower. Friendship grows like a flower. Friendship grows by the hour. Way up high like a tower. Like a flower, friendship grows. Like a flower, friendship grows. about my dog. He's just excited. I'm excited too because I think I found some new friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is my sister Apple Dumplin' and I'm Orange Blossom. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Would anyone like some juice? Did someone <laughs> say juice? There's plenty of juice here. It's the top product of Orange Blossom Acres. I guess we came to the right place. We're gathering supplies for Apple's birthday party. Please, take as much as you'd like. No thanks. Everyone knows cats don't drink juice. If you're kind to the earth, it will give you all the delicious food you need. She doesn't seem very furry to me. We're not making very much progress here. Can I interest you in some milk? Thank you, Orange. That was very thoughtful of you. It was really nice of her, wasn't it? <laughs> Ew! The next item on our list is a cake. Maybe we can find a tuna cake with nice liver frosting? Liver? Don't worry, Apple. We'll find the perfect cake for you. After all, this is the yummiest land of all. Cake walk. Looks like it's been snowing. No, that's icing. And very, very sweet it is. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Those other lands were very impressive, but... But this one takes the cake? <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Cakes are meant to be eaten, not lived in. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and this is my sister, Apple Dumplin'. It's her birthday today, and we need a cake. I think you've come to the right place. This is Angel Cake's cake shop, and I'm Angel Cake. Come on in. How about a nice pound cake? Whoa! This weighs more than a pound. Ugh, they should call it a ton cake. I'm afraid this would be too heavy for us to carry back to Strawberry Land. I have this sponge cake. It's very moist. I think it's a little too moist. How about this German chocolate cake? I'm afraid none of these are quite right. See, I knew anyone who lived in such a strange place couldn't possibly help us. Perhaps you'd like to place a special order. I can make all different kinds of cakes. See, Custard? Different can be a good thing. Hmm. Cake. <laughs> I think this is the one. 
Ooh, apple. <laughs> Fine. And what message would you like? Happy birthday, Apple Dumplin. Happy birthday, Apple Dumplin. No problem. Perfect. We'll need it by this afternoon. That's a problem. It's impossible. I cannot possibly get it ready by then. Sorry I couldn't help you. It's just too much work for one person. I have an idea. What if we all worked together? I usually work alone. But it might be fun to work with others. Okay, Angel. If you get the recipe, we can start to gather the ingredients. I'll pour, apple will mix, and custard can help clean up. Oh, yes. And you, Pup Cake, can take a nap. was hard work, but because we worked together, it was actually fun. I wouldn't go that far. Custard, my friend, you bring a certain skill to this project that only a cat can. See, Custard, someone appreciates you. Probably just because of my tidy tongue. It's the most beautiful cake I've ever seen. And the most fun I've ever had baking. You're the best. You're so great. <laughs> Some party hats. We'll have to visit Upper Hat Rack. This place doesn't seem like Upper Hat Rack. Wait a minute. Didn't we just come this way? I told you to take the low road. Hmm. This doesn't seem right either. I told you to take the high road. Why didn't you take the middle road? I think we're very, very lost. Now we'll never get home to have a party. Not that it was going to be such a great party. Lost? We lost? Have you tried north? What about south? Who's there? Or east? Or west? 
Hello! Who are you? Then there's Northeast and Southeast. Hello! We seem to be lost. Could you please tell us how to get to... No problem! I, Honey Pie Pony, specialize in expert directions. It's very, very confusing around here. Not to a clover expert like me. In fact, this reminds me of the time I was touring the fields of Scottberry, and the king invited me to a game of polo. And then there was the time that I opened for the Olympic jumpers. Once a sleigh of reindeer came through and they asked directions too. Now, what was I saying? Directions? Er, we need some directions. Could you tell us the way to get to Upper Hat Rack? Upper Hat Rack? One of my favorite places. Similar to Upper Coat Rack, but less touristy. Allow me to accompany you. That would be wonderful. Thank you. May I offer you a ride? At least we're making some progress in the fur and tail department. <sighs> yes, but she's much too tall. Just look at those ridiculous long legs. Oh, custard. I don't think we're in cakewalk anymore. No kidding. Miss Longlegs has gotten us even more lost than we already were. Oh, dear. Honey, we must have made a wrong turn again. Not according to my calculations, but this does remind me of the time I was in pants, and I was trotting, and then I was cantering, and before I knew it, I was galloping. You just told us that story. But did I tell you how everyone yelled, hi, ho, honey, when they saw me approaching? Wait, do you get the feeling someone's watching us? <laughs> Someone was watching us. <laughs> Hello, who are you? Huckleberry Pie is my name, but you can call me Huck. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is Apple Dumplin', Custard, and you've already met Cupcake. And I'm Honey, the talking pony. And boy, does she talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very, very fine spyglass you have. Want to take a peek? Sure! See anything interesting? A river! And it looks like it's made out of chocolate! It is! That's the river fudge! You want to see it in person? Why not? Okay. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Actually, we were trying to get to Upper Hat Rack. Oh, that's miles from here. Oops. Here you go, kitty. Why, thanks. Anyone else care for a hat? Those are very perfect party hats. Thanks for the party hats, Huck. No, it doesn't matter that you never found up a hat rack. That's right. We found hats, and even better, we found two new friends. The River Fudge. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Pupcake, calm down. What? Stop! No! Oh, my! <laughs> Mind. 
reminds me of when Queen Coco jumped on me bareback and off I went into the sunset. Not now, honey. Strawberry, I can't wait to tell the folks about this one. I couldn't have done it without you, honey. I guess having long legs can be good for something. Yeah! like a raft to get you across a river. And nothing like working together to get the job done. I never realized how much fun it was to work with others. Sounds familiar. I think it's done. A very, very nice raft. shown an interest in someone who's human. A human? Oh my goodness, you're right! <laughs> he is human. I guess I just thought of him as... as Huck. That's what friendship is all about. When you forget what people look like, and you like them for what they are inside. Actually, Huck has quite a few cat-like qualities inside. Well, 
Do we have everything we need for the best birthday party ever? <laughs> party! Hi. Cookies? Check. Fruit? And juice? Check, check. Cake? Check. Party hats? Check. Tag, tag. <laughs> well, I guess we have everything on the list. But I think we've forgotten something. Oh dear, we forgot to invite other guests. I have an idea, but I'll need some help. I'll help. Me too. Yeah. Good. We'll need some supplies. First, I put some paper on the floor. going to turn Pupcake into a living paintbrush. Apple, your job is to make sure there's plenty of paint. Pupcake, you step in the pan, then decorate the paper. Okay, back in the pan. Now, Custard, you write the invitation. You are invited. All right. Apple, freshen Pupcake's paint and let's get moving. when we heard a knock on the door. Our guests! Our guests! They're here! They're here! Yippee! Not a moment too soon.
wasn't such a terrible party after all. I knew you would like it, Custard. <laughs> Hate to admit it, but the best part is that there were all different kinds of guests. Hey, all of a sudden your glass looks at least half full, if not... Very, very full! <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry girl and strawberry world, life here is a treat. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, forever it's a beat. Where the berries grow so tall, where the air is clean for all, where big berry raindrops fall, strawberry land is neat. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, what a place to sing. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, ring-a-ling-a-ding. Where the music sounds so sweet, where you chose top to the beat, where each day's a great big treat, strawberry land is neat. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, what fun to explore. Strawberry girl and strawberry world, magic lands next door. Lands where giant fruit trees go, lands with hills of cookie dough. Lands where chocolate rivers flow, fun and then some more. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Jump and clap and turn around. Make a big strawberry sound. Welcome to Strawberry Land. I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and I'm almost finished trimming my Christmas tree. And a very nice tree it is. Goo! This is my sister, Apple Dumplin. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> She's just beginning to talk. Wed wagon, wed wagon. Sounds like someone wants a new red wagon for Christmas. We lost our old one in the river fudge. I love Christmas. Actually, I love every day. But Christmas is one of my very favorites. And I really love Christmas shopping. This year, I'm going to make a list of my friends, so I'll remember to get presents for all of them. There's angel cake. Angel Cake is so artistic. She makes cakes that are so beautiful, you don't want to eat them. But so yummy, you just have to. It's going to be hard to find a special gift for Angel. I wonder what she wants. That's Orange Blossom. Orange is a wonderful gardener. She grows all kinds of things, flowers, fruits, and she makes the juiciest juice. What can I give Orange that's as yummy and colorful as her very own gardens? There's Ginger Snap. She's so creative and the best baker in the whole world. You should taste her cookies. How will I ever find a present for Ginger that's as deliciously delightful as her own creations? And I can never forget Huck. Huck is a real adventurer. He's always climbing or speeding past. Whoosh! On his skateboard. What on earth will I get Huck? Something fast? Something on wheels? It won't be easy thinking of a gift for him. Then there are my pets, of course. Custard my cat. Custard is a very special cat with a very special personality. It's going to be tough finding just the right present for someone so fussy. And Pup 
Pupcake my dog. Pupcake's very silly and lots of fun. What would he like? Something as funny and silly as he is? Oh. <laughs> Please be careful, Pupcake. <gasps> Call me Santa, Call me Claus. Candy cane with chocolate sauce. What should I get for my friends? Perhaps a sled or feather bed. Sprinkled you log spot and tree frog fairy mittens, box of kittens. That's what I'll get for my friends. Call me Santa, call me Claus. Candy cane with chocolate sauce. What should I get for my friends? A blueberry, a game to play, perhaps a sled or feather bed. Sprinkled you log spot and tree frog fairy mittens, box of kittens. That's what I'll get for my friends. Call me Santa, call me Claus. Candy cane with chocolate sauce. What should I get for my friends? A firehouse, a baby mouse, a blueberry, a game to play, perhaps a sled or feather bed. Sprinkled you log spot and tree frog fairy mittens, box of kittens. That's what I'll get for my friends. Call me Santa, call me Claus. Candy cane with chocolate sauce. What should I get for my friends? A hockey stick, a stamp to lick, a firehouse, a baby mouse, a blueberry. For my friends. Furry mittens, box of kittens. What should I get for my friends? Phew. Nice singing, Strawberry. But remember, those high notes are not easy on this kitty's sensitive ears. Okay, Custard. She's a little grumpy, but all in all, a very fine cat. What's this? My Christmas list. In fact, I was just thinking about what to get for you. My list! Oh, Pupcake. I guess I can sew this. And I suppose I can do my shopping without a list. <sighs> Make it easy for you. Get me nothing. I hope you'll change your mind, Custard. It's very nice to receive gifts. Next you'll say that it's as nice to give as to receive. That is what I was going to say. Sorry, Strawberry. Christmas is not for me. Everyone is so lovey and so dovey. I plan to take a nice long nap on December 23rd and wake up around January 1st. In fact, I should take some hibernation lessons. Any bears around? Tortoises? Someone please teach me how to hibernate in time for Christmas. 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 <laughs> Did someone mention hibernation? Hi, honey. You can't hibernate. You're a pony. Yes, yes. But my travels have brought me to many nations. And believe me, I am an expert. <laughs> oh, I've been to rivers of gold and hills of hard rock candy, to lands of ice cream and snow, and through scorching deserts. I know, I know. I've scaled the killer cliffs of Kilimanjaro, where they keep everything in jars. Please continue. Don't mind if I do. Did you hear about the cats from Kathmandu? The cats from where? Not where, Kathmandu. Who do what you want to do, too. Who do what? Not what, what you want to do, too. Huh? No, 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 they don't do ha huh at all. I don't care. Then don't ask so many questions. Now just close your eyes. It's a pleasure. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> and think special, beautiful thoughts. Do I have to? I guess any old ugly thought will do. <laughs> Custard's hibernation seems to be working. <laughs> I may just be the best horse hypnotist in the world. Yay! Thank you. 
You see, it's all in the voice. I speak very slowly in a very low. Whoa! Almost hypnotized myself there. really do want to wagon for Christmas, huh, Apple? I'm beginning to get ideas for everyone's presents. Especially mine, I hope. Of course, honey. I would never forget you. But right now, I'm trying to think of something that would be good for Huck. I hope I come up with a gift idea before I run out of time. Ginger, I can't wait to try these cookies. They're sort of a boring shape. I misplaced my Christmas cookie cutters. Or maybe I lost them. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, Ginger, but they're so delicious. You <laughs> always make the best cookies. See? Everybody likes them. Shall we drink some of my sugar plum cider? Only problem is, I had to make it out of apples because I didn't have any plums. That's fine, Orange. I'm sure it's juicy full anyway. And I brought some angel cake, my personal favorite. I'm in cake heaven. It's very good to see you, but you're all a little early this year. I haven't finished my Christmas shopping. She means she hasn't started yet. Oh dear, will you have enough time? Of course, I know just where to take her. Bye everyone, we'll be back shortly. Meanwhile, make yourself at home. Just tell me what you're getting for me. I can't, it's going to be a surprise. I only wish I had an idea of what to get for Huck. shopping to do in a very short time. I know just the place. And here it is. Look! Holiday Land! Sugar plums grow on many a tree Angels sing while sleigh bells ring And jingle oh so merrily I know! I told you about Holiday Land first, you Holiday know Holiday Land, all the fun of the season Holiday Land, where giving's the reason Holiday Land is a place full of joy A land full of good things For each girl and boy Look what grows its mistletoes And the decorations they are great Rows and rows of wreaths with bows Buy me a gift, we'll celebrate A honey pie <laughs> On every street a chance to meet A smiling cello with bell and drum It's a treat to feel the beat Of your tidings, tum -de tum tum Holiday land, all the fun of the season Holiday land, where giving's a reason Holiday land, it's a nice 
horse, and of course, a land full of gifts for each pony and horse. <laughs> Every night a star shines bright with a hope for peace forevermore. For good health and cheer throughout the year, let us hold our hands from shore to shore. Holiday land, all the fun of the season. Holiday land, where giving's the reason. Holiday land, it's a place full of joy, a land full of good things for each girl and Welcome to Sugar Plumdales. Can I help you? Yes, please. But first, have a plum. <laughs> Thank you. These are very juicy and very sugary. I'm not called the Sugar Plum Fairy for nothing. So, tell me how I can help you. I'm looking for a present for my friend Orange Blossom. Tell me about her. Excuse me, esteemed fairy, but why should she tell you about her? If we know a little about her, it makes it easier to find a gift she will like. I'll tell you what she would like. She'd love one of these fabulous saddles. But she doesn't even ride horses. And she's not a horse herself. We need to get Orange something that she will like. Something that is important to her. Who wouldn't want a saddle? Oh, honey. Put yourself in Orange Blossom's place. Yes, yes, what kinds of things does she like to do? She's very fond of planting and gardening, and she likes every kind of fruit. She loves to make sugar plum cider when she has sugar plums. Then this sugar plum bush might be the ideal gift. Thanks so much. How much do I owe you? How about some luscious berries? They're out of season here. They're yours. Merry Christmas. Juicy. Very juicy. <clears throat> Maybe a little too juicy. Here we are at the Candy Cane Mart. This is where we get a gift for Ginger Snap. And I know just the perfect gift for her. A lovely saddle. I don't know, honey. Maybe that would be the perfect gift for you. But I think Ginger would like something related to cookies. There sure are a lot of candy canes here. Not that that's a bad thing. Help! Huh? Did those candy canes say help? It sure sounded like help. Over here! Over here! Someone did speak. But who? Ever hear of too much of a good thing? Impossible. <laughs> So someone was speaking to me. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. And I'm Candy Candy Clerk. Oh. I know, there's too much candy in my name. <laughs> but even worse, there's too much candy in the store. What do you mean? All we have are candy canes and more candy canes. Everyone who shops here gets so full from eating candy canes that they have no room for their Christmas dinners. Every hour there are another 10,000 candy canes. Why? Someone flicked the amazing candy cane machine switch and something happened. Amazing candy cane machine? That reminds me of the amazing cookie machine that my friend Ginger invented. I know of the perfect gift. But first, I'll need your help. <laughs> if someone doesn't stop the machine, the world will soon be overrun with candy canes. 
Do you know what's wrong, Candy Candy? Unfortunately, no. Well, I'd be very honored to help you investigate, but I'll need your help. Do you think you can form one of those pyramids? Yep. Okay. Uh, Whee! Uh, oh. Ta-da! Whoa! Hmm. Look, I think I found the problem. The switch is turned to high. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe we should turn it down to medium. A very excellent idea. Oh dear, I thought that would do it. How about if we turn it to low? Now, that's an idea. You're a hero! Hooray for Strawberry Shortcake! Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, but I couldn't have done it without your help. Perhaps your friend Ginger might like these. Cookie cutters, allow me to pay you with some strawberries. She will love these. You have already done more than enough for us. Allow us to present you with a collection of the world's best candy canes. Oh, thank you very much. This wagon will be perfect for my sister. And I can share these candy canes with all my friends. You don't care about having a present all to yourself? No, honey. In fact, I think I might even like giving gifts more than receiving them. What an idea! I never thought we'd get out of there. I always wondered what too much of a good thing meant. And now I know. I mean, I think I know. That is... Ahem. <clears throat> Look, my sweet pony. We're entering Hollywoods. The Holiday Land Forest. This must be the most gorgeous forest in the world. Oh, I don't know about that. I've seen many other gorgeous forests. Forests of redwoods, of pines, and s'mores. Yes, but this one is very incredible. Okay, where do we find a saddle for Angel? Oh, honey, I don't know what Angel would do with a saddle. Why not? Who wouldn't love a saddle? I love saddles. Well, saddles are very nice, but you are a pony. Saddles are good for ponies, but Angel is not a pony. She could be half girl and half pony. I have met creatures like that before in my travels. Merry Christmas! We're up here! Merry Christmas! The angels on top of the trees are talking to us. Oh! <sighs> I love trees, but they sometimes get in the way. I also need to find a present for Custard. I just know she'll change her mind about presents when she wakes up. I can help. What does she like? Well, she enjoys sleeping. Then how about a sleeping willow? But that might make her want to sleep more. Aha! Maybe she needs an alarm tree. I don't think so. She gets angry when someone wakes her up. Hmm, this is a tough one. Did I mention that she was a cat? A cat? Well, why didn't you say so? She will need a cat tree. Something that looks like her and that she can use for scratching. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Huh. That cat tree would be perfect for Custard. And here is a special angel for your friend Angel. Wow! Two gifts in the same place. A cat tree for Custard and an angel for Angel. That's what I call progress. You are very welcome. Are you sure Custard wouldn't rather have a saddle? No. The cat tree will be 
very perfect. If she ever wakes up from her nap. I can't believe Custard is still asleep. Neither can Pupcake. Does anybody want another cookie? No thanks, Ginger. I couldn't take another bite. Me either. They're that bad? That good. Oh, they're the best cookies I've ever eaten and eaten. Same here. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> What's taking Strawberry so long? I hope she's not caught in the snowstorm. I'm sure she's doing better than we are. Still, how long does it take to go Christmas shopping? <laughs> Maybe Strawberry's lost. How can she be lost? She's with Honey. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Have I told you about how I think a saddle would be an excellent gift for Pupcake? Oh, honey, what would a dog do with a saddle? How would you feel if Pupcake gave you a bone? A bone? That would be silly. What would a pony do with a bone? We must be on Carol Lane. <laughs> Chestnut bells? No, a collar with bells. Cupcake would love that. He loves to make noise. And then we would know when he was coming. Honey, are you sure the shop is on Carol Lane? Positive. I've been there a million times. Or was it once? But I know it has a bright red door. Or a green one. I hope we find it soon. It's getting pretty dark. <gasps> Burr! And cold. Here it is. This is the place to get the bells. Strawberry Shortcake. And this is my friend Honey Pie Pony. Merry Christmas. How can I help? We're looking for a bell. <laughs> You've come to the right place. We sell every kind of bell in the whole world. It sure looks that way. Do you have a saddle with bells? No, we have cowbells. What about stirrups with bells? Honey? No, we have jingly jingle bells. Reins with bells? A horse blanket with bells? How about sleigh bells or a doorbell? I suppose a feed bag with bells is out of the question. Wait, I have just the thing. You do? An elephant bell! Honey, look! Would you trade some fresh strawberries for this bell collar? But of course! A bell collar they have. Thank you very much. Fa la 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 la! Let's see. We have the sugar plum bush for orange, the cookie cutters for ginger, the bell collar for cupcake, the cat tree for custard, the wagon for apple, and the angel for angel. But we still have nothing for Huck. Maybe we should check out Holidayland's northern outskirts. 
It could be a tad treacherous, but we can handle it. What's so bad about Holiday Land's northern outskirts? What's so bad? The northern outskirts are the far reaches of the North Pole. It's slick with ice. A horse could slip right off the top of the world and into a bottomless crevice. Did you ever hear about Ralph, the purple-tailed reindeer? Gee, I didn't know there was a purple-tailed reindeer. Of course you didn't. Ralph went to the northern outskirts, slipped into a crevice, and was never seen again. We have to go ahead with it. Really? My mind is made up. Huck is my friend. I can't forget his present. All right, Strawberry. We'll chance it. Even though it's freezing, it's scary, and those who go there seldom return. Or was that the northern outskirts of New Mexico? Thanks for pulling the wagon for me, honey. It's getting very cold. We must be near the North Pole. It's not nearly as cold as the South Pole, or even the Flag Pole. Whoa! <clears throat> I think we might have to head home without a present for Huck. Seems like the wind is taking us even farther away from home. turn out to be one of my most memorable trips. I'd better get a lot of pictures. Smile! I am to be here. I never ever thought I'd meet you, have a chance to see your face. I never ever thought I'd travel to this amazing place. I never ever thought I'd be here out of everywhere I roam. I never ever thought I'd visit this very merry home. Ho, ho. Hello, ho, ho, I'm here. You. I waited for this day in the hope that I could greet you as you loaded up your sleigh. I'm very, very pleased you came here. How far you had to roam. I hope you have a jolly visit to my ho 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 I'm happy you're here too, Strawberry. I hear you've been, as they say, very good. Now, what would you like for Christmas? Why are you crying, Strawberry? Are you afraid you won't get what you want? No. It's that I'm afraid I won't find what I want for my dear friend, Huck. I have so many very fine friends. 
And I just want to get everyone something that is right for them. Oh, Strawberry. Trust me. You will find a wonderful gift for your friend. I will? How do you know? I know all about your friend, Strawberry. How do you think I know who's awake and who's sleeping? Now, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, I don't know. I don't really want anything. Just something for Huck. And a saddle, a brush, and some reins, a new blanket, some more detangler, lots of carrots, some hay, some new horseshoes. Excuse me, Santa, but I think we'd better be going. Already? You haven't met Mrs. Claus or seen my sleigh. And I'd like to, but... And I haven't finished telling Santa what I want. I'm sure he has a very good idea. Right. I'll get everything ready. Of course, it'd be a lot easier if I had a saddle. <laughs> ho, ho! Come to think of it, I need to be going myself. It's almost Christmas Eve. Oh, dear. I still don't know what I'm getting hot. I have a feeling you will. And soon. Really? I'm Santa, remember? I know things. You sure do. Thank you, Santa. Getting to meet you was the best present ever. It was an even better present for me. Bye, Strawberry. Bye, Santa. Have a very Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. These are terrible road conditions. They remind me of the time that... Later, honey. I don't think we'll make it back to Strawberry Land in time for Christmas. Oh, honey, don't think like that. Huh? What? Take that! You take that! <laughs> that looks very fun! You've never had a snowball fight before? Why, I was one of the organizers of the first Snowball Olympics. Why, I've seen some of the snowiest snow in the world on Mount Powder and, of course, Flaky Heights. <laughs> Take that! Snowballs. He'll love them. I still think a nice saddle is the way to go. Okay, the snowballs are all loaded up. We have a very long trip ahead of us, so we better get going. Giddy up. We're back. I can't wait to give everyone their presents. Oh no! The snowballs melted! Everything is ruined! I'm sorry, Strawberry. And so I found the perfect gift for each and every one of you. But they got a little wet. That's okay, Strawberry. You can give me mine a little wet. Little wet! Well, actually, they are very, very wet. That doesn't matter. 
What counts is that we are together. Christmas is about love, not about presents. There are all kinds of presents of every shape and size. But the present I like best is better than a prize. It has no special wrapping. It's not in a store. It is a gift of friendship and is well worth waiting for. Friends, hold your hand. Smile, they are always there for you. Friends make life worthwhile. There are some kinds of presents with costs that are quite high, but the present I like best you never have to buy. It comes without a ribbon, it comes without a bow. It is the gift of friendship, the finest gift I know. Okay, Strawberry, you can stop the joke now. What joke, Orange? You said our gifts were ruined. They are. Then what are these? My goodness, where did these come from? The new wagon. Thank you, Strawberry. This is perfect. Mine too. How did you know what I wanted? What? Huh? Good morning, everyone. Boy, do I feel rested. Merry Christmas, Custard. Something for moi? After a good week's sleep, I've changed my opinion of gifts. This is worth waking up for. Snowballs! Cool! No, even better than cool! They're cold! How did you keep them frozen? It was very difficult. What? For me? Oh my, Popcake, you shouldn't have. A bone? A bone for a pony? I mean, really. See, honey? Remember what I told you? When you give a gift, you should think about who is receiving it and what that person would like. I get it. Now I get it. Oh, I almost forgot, honey. I have something for you. A brand new saddle! How did you ever know what I wanted? Whoop! friends around me. <sighs> Plus, after my shopping adventure, I think I will be needing a little nap. That was a great joke, Strawberry. For a minute, I thought our presents were ruined. Well, really, I... Thank you, Santa. Thank you so very much. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! The berryest ever! Welcome to 
to Strawberry Land. Where things are growing better all the time. That is... <laughs> usually. It's been a very bad winter. Howling wind, slippery ice, buckets of rain, and snow so deep, I haven't seen my friends for weeks. It's a good thing I have pictures of them, or I might forget what they look like. There's Angel Cake. Angel is a wonderful artist, and she makes the most beautiful cakes you've ever seen. her angel food cake almost as much as I miss her. That's Orange Blossom. She's so much fun. And you should see her garden. She grows everything. is shining. Ginger Snap makes the best cookies you've ever tasted. Chocolate chips, macaroons, peanut butter. after the latest snowstorm. But the good news is, it's almost spring! <laughs> Queen? I forgot! You don't know what spring is, do you, Apple Dumplin? Oh, it's wonderful! <laughs>
First, we'll make a list. Could you keep it down? I am trying to take a nap. <laughs> Custard pup cake, this is no time for sleeping. Spring is coming. We have work to do. <sighs> <laughs> now, we need a shovel. Shovel. A trowel? Trowel! Is this really necessary? Yes, Custard. Work can be fun, especially if we do it together. We'll need a watering can. Here it is. We're ready. Aren't you forgetting something? Let's see. Shovel, trowel, watering can? Nope. We have everything we need to plant the seeds. Except the seeds! <laughs> Brilliant. Come on, Custard and Pupcake. Help me sort through these. We have blueberries, Gooseberries, strawberries, of course, raspberries, boysenberries, huckleberries. Don't spill anything. Hey! Oh, you're not very much help. Will spring ever get here? We'll be able to play outside and hear the birds chirping and see all the flowers blooming. I can't wait till spring is finally sprung. Strawberry shortcake. Hi, Apple Dumpling. Angel cake. I'm so glad you came to visit. I brought you upside down cake. <laughs> it's so springy. Lady fingers. They're so friendly. And of course, my freshly baked bear claws. They're so... loud. You forgot delicious. Mm. They're very delicious. I thought we could eat after I help with the painting. <laughs> Should be here any minute, don't you think? Look out! <gasps> ah! Huck, watch where you're going! Uh oh! Ah! That was close! Ah! Whoa! <gasps> Very close. Strawberry, I came to help you plant. Spring is coming. When? Any day now. It comes every March. What day is today? March 21st. But spring has to come. Did anybody say spring? Once at the Peppermint Palace, 
The tulips grew so high, I carried the queen on my back so she could smell them. Then there was Muffindale. Did I ever mention spring in Muffindale? Constantly. Have you started planting yet, Strawberry? I came to help. That's great, honey. With all of us working together, we should be done in no time. Huck, you and Custard dig the rose in the strawberry patch. Gotcha. <clears throat> honey, you scatter the seeds in the rose. Did I ever mention that I scattered seeds in Sunflower City? My seed scattering went so well, the sunflowers sprouted all the way up to the clouds. You had to climb a tall ladder just to get a whiff of them. That was right after I... Okay, everyone. This is great. All we have to do is work together and we'll be done in no time. Let's get to work. <laughs> What is it, Pupcake? You want to help too? <laughs> Maybe you could supervise. <gasps> is something wrong? I can't water the seeds. Why not? Because you can't water seeds until they're in the ground. And I can't put them in the ground until the ground is dug up. Why isn't the ground dug up? <laughs> <coughs> Yay! <coughs> <coughs> Look, Strawberry, a witch berry blossom. You can make a wish. I wish I could get everyone to work together. <laughs> Hug! Custard! Stop! Why? We're having fun! I know, Huck, but we all need to help so we can get ready for spring. It's a waste of time, Strawberry. Spring isn't coming this year. Yeah! Oh. Of course it's coming. Oh? Where's the sunshine? And the warm breezes? And why is there still some patches of frost on the ground? Spring? Lost? I don't know, Apple. Maybe I better go look for it. Can I go too? Please, Strawberry. Me too. Whoop, whoop. But we have so much work to do here in Strawberry Land. That's no fun. Huck, working together gets things done faster. And it can be lots of fun. Why don't we work together? Let's work together. If we work together, that'll help the job get done. Because when we work together, just work together, then we make the job a jillion times more fun. See the beaver's jam on the beaver dam. It goes faster if they don't work along. And the honeybee would get lonely if he had to make the honey on his own. He'd buzz and moan. So, work together. Let's work together. If we work together, we can make our garden grow. So let's all work together. Don't shirk together. Get our berries in a very perfect row. Every job depends upon the other. Teamwork helps you hit the highest score. Find a neighbor, sister, friend, or brother. Oh, you need a lot to succeed a lot is remember the special parts you play. Cause the more you do, brings good luck to you. And the time will fly so fast you'll sing hooray, hip, hip, hooray. So, work together, let's work together. If we work together, that'll help the job get done. Cause when we work together, just work together.
Tell me about it. I know. Reach up and grab that branch. I can't do it. Why not? Because your paws are covering my eyes. Sorry. <sighs> there. <gasps> uh oh. Ah! Ah! Uh! Uh! Phew. <gasps> Whoa. Uh! Ah! Did I hear you mention the word fun? Come on, Custard. This is great. We made it. Ah! Oh! oh, no. Better hurry up and get here fast. <laughs> this is the most unspringiest spring ever. The tulips want to bloom, but keep changing their minds. Baby birds want to hatch, but they're too cold to come out. And squirrels who've been asleep all winter can't wait to finally wake up. But it's so unsunny and dark out. They think they're still dreaming. Strawberry, I'm so glad to see you. Gee, Ginger Snap, what's wrong? Spring hasn't arrived in Cookie Corners, and it's the worst thing that could happen. Macaroon? Thank you. Mmm. If spring doesn't come, Cookie Corners will run out of ingredients before the end of summer. Why will Cookie Corners run out of ingredients if spring doesn't come? When spring comes, it brings us warm weather to grow fresh grain. The hens need the grain to eat so they can lay eggs all year round. Sunshine helps the sweet grass grow. The cows eat the grass. So they can give us milk. To turn into butter. And every spring, the farmers plant their wheat and sugar cane. Those crops are made into flour and sugar. And once the chickens and the cows and the farmers have all done their jobs, then it's time for me to do mine. They give me the freshest ingredients so I can make the best cookies in the world. You do make the very best cookies. <laughs> So you see, Strawberry, I can't do my job making cookies if the chickens and the cows and the farmers can't do their jobs. And they can't do their jobs without spring. 
No spring? No cookies? This is serious. You know, Ginger, I was just on my way to look for spring. Why don't you come with me? Look, a daffodil! It's a clue! What do you mean, Strawberry? Daffodils only bloom in the spring. If a daffodil is blooming, spring can't be too far away. And there's another one! <sighs> and another one! friends at a time like this. A time like what? Like on springtime. Nothing's blooming in Orange Blossom Acres. Really? <laughs> Where are my manners? I brought you some fruit juice. Though there isn't much fruit or much juice left in Orange Blossom Acres, Usually, I work hard each spring to fertilize and prune all the fruit trees in Orange Blossom Acres so they're ready to grow lots of wonderful fruit. But it's always fun because I never work alone. the birds and the bees and the butterflies to help me. <sighs> Look at that cocoon. Without spring, there won't be any butterflies. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder where spring could be hiding. Actually, Orange, we're looking for spring too. I'm sure that if we all work together, we'll find it. Together? What are we waiting for? Spring, if you're there, please give me a sign. Looking ahead, looking behind. Looking for a bee, high up in a tree. Looking for a spring and a jamming.
shall we do next? Well, spring usually comes to Huckleberry Briar first. Right! Maybe we'll find a clue there. I don't know. Huckleberry Briar is kind of scary. Oh, come on, Ginger. Huckleberry Briar isn't scary. Well, not too scary, anyway. in Huckleberry Briar. It's very scary, Strawberry. The berry bushes don't even have leaves. Just briars and thorns. Ah! Who's that? No one. You're just stuck. Is that the river fudge? It's still frozen. It looks like chocolate ice cream. And it tastes even better. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> See any sign of spring? Not here. Maybe spring reached the river and changed its mind. What's that thump, thump, thump? <laughs> it's a strange long headed monster. <laughs> oh! Or a log dog. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Don't be scared, it's only puff cake. <laughs> um, just a second, boy. Let me help you with that. Thank you, sir. I don't believe we've met. I'm Old Man Winter. How do you do? I'm Strawberry Shortcake. And these are my friends, Ginger Snap and Orange Blossom. And you've already met Puffcake. What are you doing in Huckleberry Briar? We're searching for spring. It should be here by now. Yes, yeah, she's very late. She? Spring is a girl? Yes, and she's not much older than you. She brings warm breezes, sunshine, and spring showers to the many lands. But I don't think she wants to do her job. I've finished my work, but I can't go home until spring comes. Do you know where we can find spring? Go to the Land of Seasons. The Land of Seasons? I expect she'll be there. But where is the Land of Seasons? How do we find it? very soon. But Strawberry, we've been walking forever. <sighs> but if we don't find spring, I won't be able to grow berries, Orange, you won't be able to grow fruit, and Ginger, you won't be able to bake cookies. You're right, Strawberry. This is important. It's 
looks a clue. If a daffodil is blooming, spring can't be too far away. <laughs> Together? Yeah, my back aches. Ah, oh, custard. You know it's fun. Well, more fun than falling out of a tree. Hey, custard. But I can dig faster than you can. You're on. mess up. <laughs> We've got to be close now. Look! All the trees show different seasons. This has to be a clue. And so does this. The, the Land of, of Seasons! I knew we'd find it. Come and play! Who was that? Come on, have some fun! Making an angel dog. <laughs> hey, what's your name? He's Pupcake, and I'm Strawberry Shortcake. And these are my friends Orange Blossom and Ginger Snap. Wanna throw snowballs? Sure. <laughs> we love to keep playing, but we have a job to do. Now? But we're having so much fun! We're looking for spring. If spring doesn't come, I can't grow my beautiful berries. And I can't bake my yummy-licious cookies. And I won't have any fruit so I can make the world's juiciest juice. Don't forget Old Man Winter. He can't even go home. You really do need spring, then? Of course. Spring is when everything begins to grow again. And comes back to life. What would the world be without it? Miserable. Dark. Freezing. 
I didn't know spring was so important. Important? Everyone's depending on her. Maybe I can help. You see, I'm spring. You're spring? We'd better get going. I have a job to do. Spring, wait! How are you going to bring back spring to all the different lands? And how are you going to do it quickly? I have a special dance, and a special call, and a special song, and a very special magic wand. That's amazing! Just wait! How to bring spring? Ooh, I do. I give my magic wand a fling. Ooh, it's true. I tell the wind don't blow so cold. Winter days are getting bye. old. Bye bye. I put the sing in spring. I put the sing in spring. Ice is nice, but spring is free. I put the sing in spring. I know how to bring spring. Ooh, I do. I give my magic wand a fling. Ooh, it's true. I tell the sunshine harder now. Warm up the earth before we plow. I put the zing in spring. I put the zing in spring. Ice is nice but green supreme. I put the zing in spring. I know how to bring spring. Ooh, I do. I give my magic wand a fling. Ooh, it's true. I tell the meadow no more brown. Grow grass, grow grass, go to town. She put the thing in spring. She put the thing in spring. I do not but green to cream. She put the thing in spring. I put the thing in. She put the thing in. I put the thing in. She put the thing in. I put the thing in spring. Here we are, Strawberry Land. It's beautiful, but not as beautiful as it's going to be. What do you mean? It still looks like winter to me. <laughs> Honey, Angel Cake, I'd like you to meet... Strawberry! Hey! <laughs> it's about time. Did you find spring? As I was saying, spring is right here. Huh? huh? Everybody, this is spring. Spring. These are my friends, Huck, Custard, Honey, and Angel. It's great to meet you. How do I know you're really spring? Watch this.
convinced me. Wonderful. We're so glad you came back. Thank you, Strawberry Shortcake. You and your friends taught me how important it is to do my part when there's work to be done. I guess Custard and I learned something, too. That's right. We all need to do our part. And speaking of doing our part, don't we have some planning to do? That's for sure. Come on, everybody. Let's get started. New work could be so much fun. Hey, let's make this a planting party. I brought juice. And I brought cookies. Mmm. Thank you. Don't thank me. Ginger Snap is right, Spring. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Yes, all it took was each of us following through with our own work. Plus, of course. <laughs> Working together! Right! Welcome to Strawberry Land. I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and this is the most exciting day. Especially for Honey Pie Pony. <laughs> you see, Honey is going on a trip to... To Marshmallow Marsh. It's a fabulous place. A fantabulous place. Maybe I'll let Honey tell you. What an adventure this will be. Have any of you been to Marshmallow Marsh? No, but... I didn't think so. You see, it's a gooey marsh, very mallowy and sticky, and you must be ever so careful not to fall in. Huh? Is it a long way, honey? My, yes. It's all the way past Berry Barrier Reef, a hop, skip and jump over Floating Island... Floating Island? ...and just downwind of the giant banana split. I can't wait to get going. Have a cookie first. Well, maybe just one. And some juice. Don't mind if I do. Huh? Goo? Thanks, Orange Blossom. Now I really should get going. Without cake? No. I certainly couldn't leave without cake. <laughs> Well, party, Strawberry. <sniffs> Thanks. We couldn't let you go without saying goodbye. And to show you my appreciation, I'm going to bring you all presents. Hooray! Let's see. Strawberry, I'll bring you a big bag of marshmallows. Great! Angel Cake, I'll get you some marshmallow cream. Thanks! Puck, toasted marshmallows for you. Oh, boy! Orange, orange marshmallows. <laughs> Ginger Snap, chocolate dipped marshmallows. And for Apple Dumpling, miniature marshmallows, of course. Goody! You'll have such fun, honey. You're so lucky to be going on a great adventure. Yeah, I sure wish I were going with you. In time, Huck. It takes experience and a certain. I don't know what to go on such a journey. First, I'll go to the Finger Sandwich Islands. 
better take my boots. I could get wet jumping over peanut butter and jellyfish. <gasps> and quite squishy dodging vanilla creams. <gasps> I will climb up Gumdrop Mountain just this side of Root Beer Fountain. I will watch the sunset from the cream puff tree. Then I'll scale Mount Macaroni. Oh, I'm quite the clever pony. There's a whole world waiting out there just for me. Have a good trip. Have a good trip. Start with a gentle trot. Then give it all you've got. Have a good trip. Have a good trip. Don't forget to ride. Swim the ice cream river, though it's cold, I will not shiver. I'll taste each gummy worm and jelly glen. I'll visit Pudding Haven, cause I am the Pudding Haven. There I'll try five kinds of ices, maybe ten. Have a good, have a good trip, have a good, have a good trip. You'd better head to town before the sun goes down. Have a good, have a good trip, have a good trip. Take lots of pics. About the donuts and the cookies made with no nuts. Oh, that's brother! On every bush on Parfait Lane. I'll arrive there on a Monday when they serve the famous Sunday with an extra cherry, cause I have a main. Have a good, have a good, have a good, have a good trip. Leave now, don't hesitate. If not, you might be late. Have a good, have a good, have a good trip. We'll miss you. Yeah. Have a good time. Why don't you? Stay away. Legs hurts as much as mine hurts. Oh. Here, honey, I'll pour you some juice. How is that going to help my leg? It won't, but it might put you in a better mood. <clears throat> I have to get going. I'm supposed to be on my way to Marshmallow Marsh. Honey, you're going to have to stay off your leg for a few days. That's the only way it'll get better. A few days? But I already feel so... so... Cooped up? Exactly. What am I going to do here in Strawberry's house for so long? I got it! Look at the glass. Look at the glass? I can do that for a second, but days? No, honey. I'm trying to explain something to you. Look at the glass of juice. Does it look half empty to you or half full? If you ask me, it's half empty. Don't be silly. It's half full. Which is it? That's up to you. Huh? Don't you see? It's how you look at it. Sure, hurting your leg can be awful, but it doesn't have to be all bad. In fact, hurting your leg might be a good thing. How? You get to stay with all your friends and have fun. Have fun? With a hurt leg? <laughs> Come on, honey. We're going to do our very best to show you a good time. That's impossible. Cookie's coming at ya. I mean. Maybe if someone rubs my leg, it'll get better faster. I'll do it. Angel, you're doing it wrong. Sorry. How's this, honey? Too soft. Hmm. 
What about this? Too hard. Oh, dear. Aha! Who, me? Hmm, <laughs> here. Thank you, Custard. Hmm. This should do it. No! It's too... in between. You know, honey, you're not being very cooperative. But I'm injured. We heard. And we're sorry. But you've got to try a little harder. What? You've got to be more patient. That includes being grateful to the people who are taking care of you. After all, Orange, Ginger, Huck, Angel, and I are trying our very best, and you don't seem to appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'd just appreciate it more if you would get me well. That's just what I'm talking about, honey. We can't help you if you don't help us. Instead of criticizing us all the time, you could tell us in a nice way what you need. Get it? Got it. Strawberry, maybe you should ice it again. I'll try. Brr! That ice is cold! This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Any suggestions? Oh! Huck, this blanket you brought me is blue. I asked for a pink one. Okay, honey. Orange, this juice is freezing. I want it to be room temperature. I'm a pony, not a penguin. Yes, honey. Easy, easy. <sighs> How much longer do I have to put up with this? I wish I knew, honey. It's been days. Honey, it's been about an hour. Well, it seems like days. I don't know how much more of this I can stand. Oh. I don't know how much more of this we can stand. Honey's driving us crazy. And she's so bossy. Here's some cookies, honey. <laughs> Ginger Snap! These cookies are chocolate chip. I want chocolate chip with nuts. And not peanuts this time. Chestnuts. The walnuts aren't bad. I've had it, Strawberry. Me too. Hmm. Let's go. Wait. Please don't leave. But Honey doesn't appreciate us. And she's picking on us. We can't do anything to make her happy. Honey is only acting that way because she's bored. We need to help her have fun. How do we do that? She's eaten everything in the house. Meow. And she can't move, so we can't go outside and pick berries or jump rope. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Everyone loves magic tricks, right? Can you do magic, Huck? I've been practicing a little, but I know a magician who's really good. He's putting on a show near Huckleberry Briar. This is his last night there. I think I can catch him. Huck, I need a pillow. I better go right now. Definitely more to the middle. How long will it take that magician to get here? Come on, we don't have to wait for someone to entertain us. We don't? No, we can make our own fun. But Honey's idea of fun is running and traveling and having adventures. Come on, you can have lots of fun right here in my living room. How? Imagination lets you go on every sort of trip. You can be the captain of a giant pirate ship. 
Travel to the farthest stars, way past Venus, way past Mars. Catch galactic dust and charm. <laughs> That's imagination. You can find it. One's a mouse and one's a fox. That's imagination. You can find it everywhere. In your mind and in the air. A happy dream that you can share. That's imagination. Imagination makes the world a fascinating place. Write a story, beat a drum, or draw a funny face. You cook every dress of fashion look That's imagination You can find it everywhere In your mind and in thin air Find a dream that you can share That's imagination Hey, let's paint face on turnips or bake a gingerbread stable or squeeze oranges and lemons and see which makes juice faster or have a puppet show gee it all sounds so good what shall we do first anything but the puppet show or the turnip thing and let's forget the juice race okay <laughs> play games or make lovely Christmas ornaments out of oranges or anything. Oh dear, we'll have to come up with some other ideas. Honey pie? Hmm. How would you like to try on costumes? No, thank you. What about playing hide the horseshoe? Did it on the boat to figgy pudding. Let's repot flowers. I'd rather eat them. Of course, it's not that I haven't been bored before. I was bored once for a few seconds when I took a trip to Candy Apple Gorge. And I was ever so slightly bored for a minute after a hike up Tapioca Trail. Did I ever tell you the story about the time I climbed? Yes! What about the day I hopped over? Heard it! Did I mention the moment I decided? Over and over! It's a good story. What's your point? Let's do anything else. Fine, honey. Any ideas? I guess dancing is out of the question. Hmm. Hmm. Wait! I have an idea. A very good idea. tell you about the year we had no rain in Strawberry Land. This is a true story. I love stories. I know you do, honey. That's what gave me the idea <laughs> to tell this story. Is it an adventure story? Definitely. Now, as you all know, we pick berries in late spring and summer. But that's 
only if there's plenty of rain first. And this particular year, there was none. Not even a drop. Terrible. You're right, Apple. It was terrible. <gasps> All the berry vines dried up. I couldn't imagine a summer without strawberries. <sighs> no strawberry tarts, no strawberry pies, no strawberry jam, no strawberry shortcake. What would be worse? I had to do something, and right away. So I decided to look for water. That means there's water here. No, it just means I'm sharpening my teeth. Oh dear, a gopher. No offense. Gee, if you want water, you should go to a magic creek. I've never heard of Magic Creek. Well, it's easy to find. Just go this way and that way, then follow your feet. I'll try. It's worth it, because once you're there, you'll find the most beautiful, magical, fantabulous creek you've ever seen. Look very magical. It's chocolate. But what am I supposed to do with it? I wish. I wish this were a strawberry milkshake. Oh my! <laughs> to be Magic Creek, which was wonderful, but it didn't solve my problem. If only this would turn into rain. Oh dear. Even a Magic Creek has its limits. For rain, you need a cloud. How am I going to find a cloud? A cloud I can talk to, that is. Come along, I'll show you. I can do for you? Why, yes. You see, there hasn't been rain in Strawberry Land for a long time. You're telling me? And I'm wondering if you could just, you know... It's impossible. Impossible? Why? Because for a cloud to rain, it has to cry. And I never feel like crying. That's good. I mean, that's not so good. We need the rain. Otherwise, there won't be strawberries in Strawberry Land. But since I've been a cloud over Strawberry Land, I have no reason to cry. I'm just much too happy. Hmm, that is a problem. Do you think you could just pretend to be sad? Maybe then you'd feel like crying. No, that won't work. Oh dear, I know a way you could be happy and still make it rain. Just think joyful thoughts. That's no problem, but how's that going to make rain? 
sometimes you can be so happy, you cry tears of joy. I guess I could try. See any tears? Not yet. How about now? Uh-uh. Try thinking of all the things you have to be joyful about. Like? You're a cloud. You get to drift along in a big blue sky and talk to birds. Yes! Best of all, you make rain. And rain makes everything grow. Even more joyful than that! in Strawberry Land. Wow! Tell another one! You really want to hear another story? Sure! It's just what I need. My leg is starting to feel better. That's because you weren't thinking about it. Besides, things always get better. Didn't you know? Shows. You don't? But they're so much fun! What don't you like about puppet shows? It's hard to say. Why? Well, I've never seen one. Well, if you did, I have a feeling it would be your very favorite thing. Okay, let's give it a whirl. I'm going to tell you a story about Orange Blossom Acres. It's about the time I planted a juice tree that will grow little pitchers of juice. There's no such thing as a juice tree. That's what I thought, but I wanted a juice tree a lot. It would have been easier than picking fruit and having to squeeze it to make juice. I mean, sometimes you have to squeeze, oof, and squeeze, oh, and you don't even get a single drop. Then one day, there it was, a tree that grew pitchers of fruit juice. Wow! What happened next? Wait, let me guess. You picked all the pitchers and threw them into a big... No, that's not it. You found a pitcher seed and planted it in... What? Unfortunately, it was only a dream, but it was the juiciest dream I ever had. Yum! <sighs> Too late. 
You're too late! What do you mean? Where's the magician? Finished his last show! I think he's an upper hat rack. But it'll take forever to get to upper hat rack. And my friends in Strawberry Land are waiting for a magic show. I don't want to disappoint them. Sorry. That's okay. I do know another magician. He doesn't have a lot of experience, but maybe he can do the trick. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. little guy. The end. That was a very juicy story, Orange. Yes! It sure was. Now what do we do? Tell another one. I have one. Yay! Well, what are you waiting for, Ginger? When are you going to tell it? As soon as you stop talking. Oh! <laughs> A while back in Cookie Corner, something terrible happened. Huh? I was out of chocolate chips. Oh, no! That's my last bag. Sure, I could still make sugar cookies and peanut butters and spritzels and macaroons. But face it, a cookie without chocolate chips is like a face without a smile. I went all the way to Chocolate Town. No one seemed to be around. Hello! So I sat down on a chocolate truffle to think. Hmm. Mmm. What are you doing? I couldn't resist. You can't just go and eat all our furniture. I'm sorry. I love chocolate. Especially when I'm upset. And right now, I'm very upset. So upset I could eat a couch and a dining room table. Hmm. What's your problem? I'm all out of chocolate chips to bake cookies. Do you know where I can find some? Chocolate chips? You can't get those around here. But the bunny told me where I could go. There. <gasps> it was a rainbow. And at the end of it, a pot of gold. Oh, my! <laughs> but it's only gold at the end of the rainbow. Unless I can exchange it for chocolate chips, what do I need it for? Silly girl, look closer. Hmm. It's a chocolate coin. What did you expect in Chocolate Town? Take as many as you like and chop those into chips. Thanks.
for the yummiest chocolate chips ever. whenever I run out of chocolate chips. That was a sweet story, Ginger. Yes, but it's getting late. Apple, it's time for you to go to bed. New story, new story! Well... Come on, Strawberry, please. I've already told a story. It must be someone else's turn. Who'd like to hear about my very first birthday cake? Me! I was finally ready to write happy birthday in colored frosting when... Out came white. I used up all my colors. How was I going to decorate the cake in time for the party? And then I had an idea. Why not pick rose petals for pink, blueberries for blue, and grass for green? I mixed each one in a bowl of frosting. But something was wrong. It was crunchy. What did you do? Tell us. I walked. And walked. But I didn't see colors anywhere. And then I arrived in Sponge Cake Forest, where sponge cake grows on every tree. I was so hungry by then, I had to have a piece. And from then on, I always knew where to get food coloring for my cakes. Yay! <laughs> new story, new story! Can I hear another story? Or should I tell one? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I've seen many other gorgeous forests. Forests of redwoods, of pines, and s'mores. What do you mean? Did I ever mention that I scattered seeds in Sunflower City? My seed scattering went so well, the sunflowers sprouted all the way up to the clouds. You had to climb a tall ladder just to get a whiff of them. Would anyone like some juice? Fruit juice. Yummy. And then there was the time that I opened for the Olympic jumpers. You just told us that story. Huck? Oh, hi. What are you doing out here? I, um... Well, I couldn't get the magician for the magic show. I let everybody down. No, you didn't. We've all been having lots of fun. Really? Sure. And Honey has become a very patient patient. Honey? Now that's magic. Come in and see. Hey, everyone. Look who's here. Hawk! I couldn't get the magician. That's okay. We've been entertaining each other. Would you like to do something, Hawk? Well, I have been practicing a couple of tricks, but I'm not very good yet. I bet you're just great. 
Okay, pick a card, any card. Let me. Your card is a seven of clubs. No. Oh, then it's a nine of hearts. Uh-uh. Is it a six of diamonds? Sorry. I told you I wasn't very good. Don't be silly, Huck. Everybody makes mistakes when they're learning. Try another one. I don't know. Please, Please Huck. Huck. New twick, new twick. Okay, I'll try another one. Does anybody have a hat? I do, I do. Abracadabra, presto, changeo. Wabbit, bunny wabbit. Wow, how did you do that? It's magic. That was wonderful, huh? Amazing! Incredible! Wow! This is great! I get to be a magician instead of just bringing one! This is so much fun! Yay! Wow! My leg is fine! Thanks everyone for taking such excellent care of me! Wait a few more days. I have my friends here, and we have so much fun together. That's what I call seeing a glass half. I mean, completely full. <laughs> there are two sides to everything. There are opposites, you see. One is up and one is down, quite different ways to be. I used to be the one who's down, but then I learned the news. There always is a brighter side and that's the side to choose. Cause it's all how you look at it, all how you look at it. Find a smile and try it on for some. Ah. It's all how you take it in, all how you take it in. Be the one who sees with cheerful eyes. There are two sides to everything. They're opposites, you see. One is glum and one is glad. Quite different ways to be. I used to be the one who's glum each minute dragged on by. But then I learned to plan my day with things that made my life. Bingo! 